Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Pepe. Um, and we have enough to talk about, all right, because purely technically, we actually turned relatively bearish. Um, the thing is, is with, with, with Pepe, because we have rallied so much and we're getting right into the analysis. I hope you don't mind, but welcome to the channel if you're new. Um, but no, if you look at Pepe, because we have rallied so much in the last couple of weeks and the last month or so, um, it, it, it takes a lot of bearish momentum before we actually turn very bearish, all right? So for example, right now, we're still on top of the 100 EMA, we're still on top of the 200 EMA, we're still on top of the 3A2 FIB of this move up. Um, so there's definitely still a chance that Pepe returns to be bullish. But if you look at the one hour time frame and just in general, and um, it shows that this is not real time data, but I, I do think this is the real time data, right? Yeah, it's, it's around the same level, so it shouldn't matter that much. Um, but no, if you look at the one hour time frame, yesterday we were holding this level, which um, we already dropped down there earlier in the morning. And what I said is that, all right, I still think it's most likely that we'll, it, we'll be able to hold this level. And then when Bitcoin turns more bullish and when we get more momentum in the markets, then we can actually get a breakout from that, from that level as well which we managed to hold that level for, for a relatively long period of time, um, but we never got the momentum. And then earlier this morning, we saw Bitcoin drop down again, right? So that's the situation right now. And in general, you can also see right here, for example, uh, meme coins are, are very much underperforming. Meme coins are absolutely suffering. Uh, so as a narrative, they're doing very bad. So that's also fundamentally, I would say, Pepe now is actually bearish because there's also some, some sort of a um how do you call it like the, the the narrative is just doing bad it's it's not only pepe it's it's really all meme coins which if all meme coins are doing that there's something going on and if there's something going on and the price is dropping down that's not something positive going on uh, so that's in combination with the bearish breakout uh, bearish breakout that we saw uh, but also the momentum loss we're seeing for for pepe right now which is not good i mean we've been losing momentum since monday um, I have to be bearish on Pepe short term. Now, like I said, the main level, and, and I do think that if you look at this level right here, so that's the level between uh, 13,000 and 12,500. Uh, and we talked about that very briefly yesterday as well, that if we actually manage to hold that level, technically we're still bullish. Like technically, uh, uh, technically long term and technically high time frame, we are still bullish. But we do need to get some sort of a, a, a reclaim, some sort of a, a, um, a confirmation to actually turn bullish short term again. And I don't see any reason why we should become that right now. Right, right now, I only see reasons why we would drop down lower towards 12,500. And if we don't get a strong reaction from 12,500, uh, we can drop down all the way to the 200 EMA right here at 11,500, which is from the current levels. I think that's still like a 17% drop or so. 15% uh, drop, excuse me. Um, so that's what I expect. And the, the, the one thing, technically and fundamentally, that can actually save Pepe, technically it's a breakout above uh, 14,500, which I think it's quite likely we, we can actually spike up there. Uh, but what I expect for now is that we'll just find resistance there and then we'll drop down lower towards 12,500. And if we don't gain open interest from there, uh, we'll drop down lower as well. So that's what I think is most likely, purely technically. Um, so technically to turn bullish again, which it's always a possibility. It's just, it, it's not most, most likely right now, but it's always a possibility. Um, but what we need is, is, is a stronger Bitcoin, all right? So if we get some good news today, if Bitcoin finds strong support around 66K, then that can actually happen. But for now, it's not most likely. Right, so this uh, this afternoon I'll, I'll do a big market update in which I'll also cover some meme coins. Check that out if you're interested, if, if the situation has changed by then. But for now, I would assume something like this. Um, so those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.